Alrighty, Hosses, welcome back. And before we begin, I just want to give a quick shout out to Jason A. He is my third patron. Donated five bucks to my Patreon account. So, Jason A., thank you. I love you. All right. Now, I actually noticed whenever I was editing the last video that I forgot to use this forward slash because what that would do is right now the file path would be the new Boston uh, Q dot text. And of course, we need the forward slash to get the proper path, just like that. So again, make sure you add your little forward slashes. All right, so let me just go ahead and make sure that this works first. So what we're gonna do whenever we create the data files is it takes two parameters, as you see. The first one is the project name, which is the new Boston. And the second one is the URL of the home page. So check this out. Whenever I run this, what it's gonna do is you see that this was empty before and we now have two files so crawled which is empty we didn't crawl anything yet and also the queue so we have one URL in the waiting list so whenever our bot first boots up it's gonna say okay let me get that and that's my starting point so I can actually just go ahead and delete this now and let me actually get rid of this little thing all right, so now I actually just need to make a couple other housekeeping functions like this. So this is for creating a brand new file and we already saw when that's gonna be useful. But later on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be crawling a lot of different pages and we don't wanna just create a brand new file each time. We're just gonna discover more links and we just wanna add them onto the end of this file right here. So we actually need a new function and I'll just say, uh, add data onto an existing file so i'll say a def append to file and it'll take the same parameters as before what file do you want to append to and what do you want to stick on the end of it and for this you can actually just go with open so you want to open the file what file do you want to open well whatever one we tell you to and how do you want to open it in A mode. So A means append or add on to the end of it. W means write. So if you're writing a brand new file and then we'll just say it as file. So we have a reference to whatever file we just opened. And now with the file, we can just call a write method and we'll just say data and we'll go ahead and stick a new line at the end. So again, what we're going to do is we're basically going to call this whenever we want to stick a new link onto the end of one of those files. So it's gonna stick a link on it and then it's gonna bump the cursor down to the new line or the pointer, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, yeah, then you have each link on a new line. I think it just looks a little bit better that way. Now let me just make another function called, uh, I'll say delete. Uh... All right, so there are gonna be times where we actually wanna clear or we don't wanna delete a file but we just wanna get rid of everything inside it. And we're gonna see why this is useful later on. Again, I usually have these in almost every single Python program I write. So these are really just housekeeping, but I'll say delete uh, file contents. And again, you don't need any data to be passed in here because you're not writing it or appending anything. You're just deleting whatever's in there. So I'll say with open, path this is actually right mode pass so basically all we're doing right here is we're creating a new file or overriding the existing one with the same name and uh, this pass right here this is a keyword that you can use whenever you want to do nothing so it's essentially just the same <laughs> of uh, having a comment in just writing do nothing, but this is gonna give you an error because there's no code here. So whenever you just wanna maybe have a loop and have it do nothing, then you can just write pass. So again, if a file exists, instead of just reading through every line and deleting it one by one, we're just gonna create a file with the same name and that's essentially just gonna delete all the contents in it. All right, now the last two functions in here, I'm actually gonna save for the next tutorial. And uh, I'll tell you guys why, but we got two more functions to go for this file. Then we get into the really fun stuff. So see you guys next time.